Hi everyone, I'm on holiday in South Africa and I'm loving it here. And I was very curious to see what treasures I could find in the local second-hand store. So that's where we are now. So let's go in and see. Don't know if I was aware a piece was missing. Inside, and I found this beautiful Woodford crystal decanter. Now, I was actually looking for a ship's decanter, and I'm so happy to find one. I'm negotiating with the lady about the price because it's a little bit pricey for me, but we'll see what I can do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely afternoon, and come visit me again next week. Thank you. So, we can see those other things are here for you, alright? Cool. That's so awesome. I went a little bit crazy. Yeah, how happy are you right now? So happy. Turns out secondhand shops are good here as well. Yeah, and also I got an amazing deal. I couldn't even get one of the pieces for the amount that I paid for everything. So I'm very happy about that. <laughs> so back at the beach house with my little haul, I got two boxes of sharing glasses, 12, well actually 11 because one of them is broken. I got six hook glasses, I'll tell you more about them in a second, and a decanter, all in the same Waterford Crystal pattern. They're beautiful and I managed to get a really good deal. The owner of the shop told me that she's selling them on behalf of uh, two friends of hers. They're older people, an older couple without any kids, very affluent, and they are ready to part with some things of theirs because they don't have any people to give it to and they want it to go really good home. I see myself as a bit of a custodian of objects. They'll have had a life before me and they will have a life after me if I treat them well, so that's always my philosophy. I'll show you. So these are the cherry glasses. They obviously need a wash, but I love the pattern. Isn't it beautiful? I've never seen these boxes before, so it must be quite a while back that they bought them. Sherry's gone massively out of fashion over the last years, but it used to be drunk always with hors d'oeuvre, or with like uh, oysters, stuff like that, or just on its own before a meal to increase your appetite. And I want to bring that back. That's why I also got a bottle of sherry. And this is not your typical sherry. <laughs> this is the only one they had. It's called Sedgwick's The Original All Brand since 1916. Um, this is the South African sherry that they were selling. I've never drunk this one before, so we're going to give that a go later in the new sherry glasses. They didn't just have the sherry glasses, they also had hook glasses. And you might think, what are hook glasses? Well, let me tell you. Hook is an old word for German white wine. And nowadays they're usually used for a sweet wine or very young wine. And you can recognize them by their very long stem, a very small ball. The ball used to be way bigger way back when, but when fashion's changed, shapes changed. <laughs> so these are hot glasses now. So I'm hoping to add to this set in future and have a full 12 person set, or even 16 maybe, because for most of the guest dinners that we have at the chateau, for those of you who don't know, I live in Chateau de la Lande, I mean, lots of guest dinners, there's mostly 15 of us. So. I'm gonna try and add to this set bit by bit. And there was a last thing, it was a beautiful decanter. Now this is a ship's decanter. And I'm gonna unwrap it and I'm gonna tell you more about it. So this is the matching ship's decanter. Now you can recognize them by their shape. They're like that so that they don't easily fall over. We have a different decanter there I can show you. Imagine on the ship, very wavy, like very turbulent sea. Which one do you think will stand up the longest? <laughs> I think this one will win that test, which is why it's called the ship's decanter, so it'll, it's way more sturdy than um, this one. And also, they are used to aerate wine. Now, aerating wine is different to decanting. Decanting just means that you have an all bottle of wine and you might have some sediment uh, in the base and traditionally you would have a candle and you would make sure that when you're decanting it into the decanter that all the sediment stays here and does not get passed into here so that when you're pouring into your glass you don't have to worry about any of that. But there's also aerating. Now aerating is when you have a wine and you try to add oxygen to it to enhance the flavours, to make the mouth feel a bit softer uh, basically, the flavors get more pronounced when you add oxygen. You get your bottle of wine, well, sherry in this case. You wouldn't do this with sherry, but that's what I've got at hand. So, to illustrate, a bottle of 
wine. You would just chuck it in as quickly as possible so that all the oxygen gets into the wine and it gets more pronounced. And then you can also swirl it around and it just does the same thing. So that's why you need this and why I'm very happy that I finally caught one. I'm gonna wash all of this and then let's try the sherry. I am very excited to try the, this um, South African sherry. Sherry, <laughs> let's see. Just a little bit to taste. Actually, it smells quite nice. It's a bit like the consistency of port, but then if you cross raisins and vodka, that's more like it. It's quite good, I like it. And I hope you liked the video as well. So if you did, please leave it a like because it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, consider subscribing if you want to see more videos and hit the notification button because that means that you'll get notified as soon as I upload a new video. So I'll see you all next time and thank you all for watching. Yeah, there's a wee touch of a reason in that. And anyway, let's race in their class. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Jerry and I are both bringing it back. <laughs>